Hey guys, this video I'm going to show you how to name your slides inside PowerPoint using VBA code. So in the last video I did, I showed you how to insert some text after you named your selection, right? That's pretty similar. We're going to work with that stuff too. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. Um, but you can do that without watching this video. So here we go. So here's the module that I'm going to be using. And here's the code. That you need to know. So <clears throat> this sub is just called name slide, right? You're just gonna want to input all this. This is a mix of code that I found right online, so I'm just passing it over to you. <clears throat> okay, that's the gist of it. So pretty much it just says we're gonna go in here, we're going to rename the slide, we're gonna throw up an input box, we're gonna insert the new name for that slide. Okay, then we're going to exit that sub, right? We're going to go, uh, this just shows, this is just stuff for errors, okay? Um, I'm not like a code guru or anything by any means, uh, but we're going to do that. So I've already named this slide right here. And so what we're going to want to do is just get, um, we're going to want to name this one, right? So I got my thing here. Right, so I'm going to name this. Currently, it's just named Slide Five. So there is just a generic name that comes with every slide that is made inside PowerPoint. And so, as far as I can find, this is the only way to do it is to use this code that I just showed you because you can name shapes, but like inside a PowerPoint by just going to Home Select um, Selection, right? But for some reason, you can't just name the slides uh, in Ailey. So we're going to name this one uh, Awesome Slide, right? And tells you the slide was renamed to Awesome Slide in case you forget, right? We're going to need to remember that later. And then this um, one right here, we're going to name this one Cool Slide. Okay, so we got, I think, a couple different ones. So I'm going to go back to the first module that I worked with where we were just changing the text inside some of these shapes right so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna change the names of these slides right and so I'm gonna show you real quick so I've just got uh, all right in this presentation this slide awesome slide right we're going to name the object red in that slide. We're going to take the text box in there and we're going to just input the word stuff, right? Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, cool. And you can see everything did that all at once because I had all of them set to all run at once. That's awesome. So the reason you're going to want to do this is let's just say you had all of your slides named numerically because you didn't know how to name them which is what I ran into all I was doing was naming the slides like slide 1, slide 2, slide 3 what happens is if you come in here and you make a duplicate slide then guess what just became slide 3 and 4 and then what was your slide 3 is now slide 5 so you're referencing stuff in shapes that you know it's not even relevant anymore so um, that can really mess up your code and definitely impact what you're what you're doing in your project. So I hope this definitely helps. I'm gonna show the code one more time right here. Yeah, just write out this code and this should work for you really well. I've got this on the latest version of PowerPoint, but this has also worked on 2010 for me. So it should work out good for you. Um, if you, this helped you, please like this video, comment if you have any questions or input, and then if you like this, uh, please subscribe. i got a bunch of different stuff going on on my channel. Um, but overall, thank you for watching, and have a good one.